In just over a week, Taylor Swift is scheduled to accept the Artist of the Decade Award at the American Music Awards, and she is planning to perform a medley of her hits. But now there's a snag. She claims two music executives who own her early songs are forbidding her to play them. Here's the latest. Taylor Swift is unleashing her devoted army of Swifties. Her targets, these two tycoons, Scott Borchetta and Scooter Braun. And now they say they're in fear of their lives and their families. The extraordinary feud broke out overnight when Taylor claimed that she was being barred from performing her hit songs at the American Music Awards, which is just nine days away. Scott Borchetta and Scooter Braun have now said that I'm not allowed to perform my old songs on television, Taylor wrote to her 200 million social media followers worldwide. You heard right, 200 million. Please let Scott Borchetta and Scooter Braun know how you feel about this. They sure did. Hashtag I stand with Taylor is trending. Some of the tweets are extraordinarily harsh and threatening. Death penalty for Scooter Braun and Scott Borchetta. We Swifties are gonna get you. I hope Scooter Braun dies. There's no question that she is mobilizing her fans in support and using them as leverage in this situation. Scooter Braun, who also manages Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande, is hitting back. At no point did we say Taylor could not perform on the AMAs, he declared. Taylor made a unilateral decision last night to enlist her fan base in a calculated manner that greatly affects the safety of our employees and their families. So will Taylor perform at the AMAs? It's hard to say how this is going to play out. Taylor is mobilizing all of her forces. She's pushing every button she can reach. Baby, now we got